In this video, I'll talk about the lattice energies for ionic compounds. The lattice energy or lattice enthalpy of an ionic compound A plus B minus is simply the change of the internal energy or enthalpy of the system in the formation of this ionic compound from separated A plus and B minus ions in the gas phase. So A plus and B minus are in the gas phase, and this ionic compound is in the solid phase. The difference between the change of internal energy and the change of enthalpy is simply the change of the product of pressure and volume. But this delta PV is often negligible in most chemical reactions. Now let's work on one example problem. Let's calculate the lattice energy of sodium chloride. The goal is to obtain the value of the enthalpy of reaction of this. We start from sodium plus in the gas phase, chlorine minus in the gas phase. The product is the solid sodium chloride. We will use Hess's law. First, it's really easy to look up the enthalpy of formation of sodium chloride, negative 411 kilojoule per mole. The reaction is this. We start from pure elements, solid sodium, gas chlorine 2 molecule. We end up with this product in this reaction. The enthalpy of reaction is equal to the enthalpy of formation of the product this guy, minus zero, minus zero, because the enthalpy of formation of pure elements are simply zero. But unfortunately, this is a sodium solid, and this is chlorine molecule. So we need to convert this two to sodium plus and chlorine minus in multiple steps. First, the sublimation of sodium solid to sodium gas requires this amount of energy, 108 kilojoule per mole energy. Therefore, we write the sublimation reaction in the reverse direction. We go from gas to solid. It's called condensation. And then we just need to know the enthalpy of formation of sodium gases atoms. And it's 108. We put a negative sign in front because we reversed the formation reaction of the sodium atoms. Similarly, we get the chlorine gaseous atoms from chlorine molecules and reverse the step. We know this step should be negative enthalpy of formation of the chlorine atoms. Again, it's because we reversed the formation reaction for this chlorine atom. And then finally, we need to convert those atoms, chlorine atoms, sodium atoms, to ions. So essentially, they are just the electron affinity of the chlorine atom reversed and the ionization of sodium atom reversed. We just need to look up the ionization energy of the sodium atom and put a negative sign in front of it. And also we need to look up the electron affinity of the chlorine atom. This value is negative 349 kilojoule per mole with one additional negative sign because this reaction is reversed we have positive 349 kilojoule per mole for this second step. Now we sum up these five steps and we sum up this five energy or enthalpy changes. First, let's sum up these five steps. Sodium gas and sodium gas cancel. Chlorine gas, chlorine gas cancel. Chlorine 2 gas, chlorine 2 gas, cancel. Sodium solid, sodium solid, cancel. Electron, electron, cancel. In the end, we have sodium plus and the chlorine minus on the left-hand side. Sodium chloride solid, it's an ionic compound on the right-hand side. 
We also sum up these five numbers. We get negative 788 kilojoule per mole, and this number is the lattice energy of this sodium chloride ionic compound. This is quantitative analysis of the lattice energy or lattice enthalpy. Now let's go qualitative. In general, the lattice energy is roughly proportional to the charges of the positive and negative ions. It's also roughly inversely proportional to the sum of the ionic radii because the sum of their ionic radii is approximately the distance between these two ions. And then we use this equation for computing the electrostatic force. It's charge 1 times charge 2 divided by the distance between these two charges. Again, if we have a large charge on A and a larger charge on B, we have much larger uh, electrostatic force. Also, if we have smaller R and a smaller smaller R for A plus and a smaller R for B minus, and, and then we have a, a shorter distance between the two charges. Also, we have a larger electrostatic interaction. But again, by looking at the equation, uh, we can tell that uh, this Q, the charges of the positive and negative ions, play a more important role. Now let's look at the practice problem. Arrange the following ionic compounds in order of increasing magnitude of lattice energy. Uh, I mentioned this magnitude because lattice energies are always negative. So the magnitude of lattice energies are, are just positive. Uh, three compounds, sodium chloride, calcium oxide, magnesium oxide. So between these two, you need to look at their charges. The charges play a more important role. And then between these two, well, you will see they have the same charges. And then you need to look at the ionic radius of calcium versus the ionic radius of magnesium. The answer is here in font size 2.